What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Yes guys, it's the final one. The big one. If you guys already know what I'm talking about, it is the big one. And here we are in Vermilion City, or no, I'm sorry, Viridian City, and we're gonna head to the one place we have not gone before and that is, uh, well, let's see, uh, Mount Silver. Yeah, that's right. Mount freaking Silver. That is the one place we have not gone to. Now, if you guys remember, or if you guys don't remember, um, we actually defeated all eight Kanto gym leaders, and that actually gave us uh, the right to actually go into Mount Silver. And, uh, well, we left that for the last thing, the last, last thing to do in all our, all our adventure right here because, you know, it's the big one. Now, you can go right here. And here we are in Route 28. Now, I did bring Razor with me just to cut around everything. Now, you guys already know what's ahead of us right here. The one, the last battle, and that happens to be against Trainer Red. Right now, I have my Pokemon at, you know, a decent, well, not a decent level, but they're at their regular levels right now. But off screen, I will be training some of them just to, you know, have a fair advantage. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to go explore this area right here before we go into anything because I didn't really want to make it uh, 70 full episodes right here. Now, I'm trying to find that area with the cut. I need to cut something. Hmm, I need to cut something. But we do need Surf right here, too. And, uh, let's see. There was a house up there that we need to go to now this is actually the easiest way to get to the silver cave or Mount Silver and uh, there is a few things that we can go through or we can actually see or get right here before we even get into Mount Silver now the Pokemon are here are pretty strong they're out there at least level 40s and stuff now could be wrong where is it there's a hidden item right here somewhere should be a hidden item here huh I don't know Whatever, let's move on. Let's move on right here. Now, the entrance is right here. There's a Pokemon League, or there's a Pokemon Center. But before we do anything, before we go start our training, we're just going to be battle, or we're just going to be cutting down a few trees right here, just so we can um, see what that house has. Because that is probably the last thing we need to do before we even go into Mount Silver, or before we even battle, or start training my Pokemon right here now. Here we are back at Route 28, and if you go in here, and if you talk to this young lady, she's like, Oh dear, you found me! Please don't tell anyone about me, I'll give you uh, this for keeping my secret, please. We grabbed ourselves the TM-47, which I believe is Steelwing. Is it? It's tough being a, 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 top, or a top celebrity. Everywhere I go, people chase me. I just wanted to be left alone. Then why are you, uh, you know what? I'm not even going to ask. You're probably that lady that gave me fly the last time. Okay, so TM-47. Let me see what that is. I need to find out what it is. Oh, yes, it's Steel Wing right there. So it's a very good move for any kind of flying type Pokemon to go up against any rock type Pokemon. Okay, so that is basically it for that. Everything, you know, all that stuff. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to be training like a madman I'm going to be training around this whole area right here there's a bunch of different Pokemon I will be capturing some of them and all that stuff but I will be getting my Pokemon to decent levels that way we can face the final trainer right here so I'll be back in just a little bit guys okay so we managed to train up my Pokemon to a decent level right here it took me about a good four hours maybe five just to get everybody you know up to date Especially with this whole uh, speed button and everything. Now, it is finally time to go to Silver Cave or Mount Silver as, you know, we, we are, we have now to, to know it, you know, if you guys know what I mean. So, let's go with the Repel right here. And let's go ahead and do this right here. Now, part of this training was I actually had to battle the Elite Four maybe three or four times to actually level them up just a little bit. So, that's, uh, <laughs> having to go through the Hall, Hall of Fame, uh, like three or four times, yeah, fun. So what you need right here is you're going to need a Pokemon with uh, with Flash. And as you can see, everything can be uh, can appear right at, right there and then. Now in later versions, you'll actually need a Pokemon that knows like um, Rock Climb. I believe there's like a Rock Smash there somewhere. I don't know. It's been a while since I've actually completed the Pokemon uh, Soul Silver game. And there's another item right there that I want to get. Let's go right ahead and grab that. 
And looks like we got ourselves a protein right there. So that's also good, I guess. I don't know. Shoot. Okay, so moving on forward right here. There could be some more things now. In Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you can actually find the legendary Pokemon right here too, like the legendary birds. I could be wrong. Again, guys, correct me down below. You are feared to do that. I mean, many of you guys have been knocking on me about how you how Draven can uh, read or can rage. It's one of the two. It's it's hilarious. And uh, let's see, there's another item right there that I would like to get. And. Uh, Looks like we got ourselves a Max Elixir right there, and, uh, okay. Let's just move it on forward right here. And, uh, let's see, there could be an item right there. Probably. Nope, no item. Usually there's an item right there somewhere. And, uh, let's see. Now, we could surf right here, but we don't have a Pokemon that has Waterfall. Ooh, that could be, that could be one of the things that we need. Ah, uh, jeez. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's see. Yeah, we we probably need a Pokemon that needs Waterfall right here. So let me just uh, repel one more time. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here, guys. Balls. We do need a Pokemon that needs Waterfall. So, let's see who can learn Waterfall right here. Come on, baby Jesus. Somebody help us. Come on. Let's see. Waterfall. Crap. Nobody's able to learn Waterfall? Are you freaking kidding me? Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so... Wait right there, guys. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so back here into the Silver Cave, the Pokemon that I replaced was Toxie Batman with Lugia. And it's mainly because Lugia is the only Pokemon that knows how to use Waterfall and Fly. So it's a big sacrifice, but it's still a good Pokemon to actually have on your team. So let's go right ahead and get onto this Waterfall stuff right here. And uh, let's see. I don't think I need a I don't think I need another repel right here, right? Let's see. Nope, still, still on the lingering effects. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Lugia, use Waterfall. So, that's another thing right there for having a Lugia and stuff. So, hopefully that will actually help us out right now. This is an area where you can actually find a Max Revive. That's also good, I guess. I don't know. Jeez. Alright, let's see. Let's move on forward just a little bit more. And I think that was a dead end right there. But we found a max revive that we really needed. And, uh, let's see. I think we... Yeah, this is the area where we, we where we last uh, left off. And I think we're almost done with this whole uh, repel thing right here. Ah, crud. There's another... There's an item... <laughs> wow, there's another item right there that we need, need to go to. And, uh, let's see. If we go right... Ah, oh, shoot! So it looks like we didn't really need... <laughs> Oh my god, it looks like we didn't really need uh, the waterfall technique, holy crap, okay guys, okay, you know what, I'm sticking by with what I have right here, um, <laughs> you gotta be shitting me, you have got to be shitting me, okay, I'll be right back, <laughs> wow, do I feel very, very stupid right now, so, Waterfall is basically used to get around this area right here, just so if you want to get the extra items. Um, we don't really need to get the extra items. We just need to come here in this little hole right here, you know, the, this this one place. So, let's go right ahead. Let's, let's go do this. Now, if the room is golden, yes, you have come too far. You will be able to find your best bud yourself at the previous game or whatever you call it. So, there is... A Pokemon trainer right there. Now there's nothing else right here. He's just looking over there. Now this should be a mountain top or anything like that, but it is what it is. So let's go right in and talk to this guy. Dot 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 dot. Hmm. Seriously, how come you don't talk, man? Is it because we were you back in Pokemon Yellow? Is it because you're looking at me? Is it because you're looking through my my soul, my very soul? You know what we're gonna do? I don't know. Let's find out. 
Oh yes, here it is guys, the final battle of this whole entire episode and <laughs> this whole walkthrough right here. Here we have Pokemon Trainer Red and here he comes out with the legendary Pikachu right here. Which is our Pikachu, or Sparky if you will. So, here we go guys, Sc moving on forward right here. Pokemon Trainer Red in Pokemon Gold, uh, Silver, and Crystal, he does have a full team, and his team might seem a little familiar to you guys. He does start out with an, a level 81 Pikachu, a level 73 uh, Espeon, a level 75 Snorlax, a level 77 uh, Venusaur, level 77 Charizard, and a level 77 Blastoise. His team is basically what your team should have been in, you know, Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, this guy is the most powerful trainer in all of Pokemon. You guys have to have a very, very balanced team to go go up against this guy because, yeah, he is no joke. So let's move on forward right here. Let's go. Bring it on. Let's go with this Earthquake attack. And as you can see, this little Pikachu right here is going off with a Thunder. And that takes a lot. And that, next thing you know, we're paralyzed right off the bat right here. But luckily for us, we got ourselves an Earthquake attack. That's right. And we all know that Pikachu is a little bit weak. Should have evolved him, buddy. Look at that. Down for the count goes a level 81 Pikachu. Most powerful Pokemon we'll ever face right here. And here he's going to be coming out with his, Esp uh, and his Espeon. Now, we've got to go with a Pokemon that, you know, can take take him on. You know what? We're going to stay with Teddy right here since it does, it does have its faint attack right here. It's just going to be a little slow. Faint attack. And here is that psychic attack that we've been dreading, and ooh, it's gonna take a nice amount. Ooh, and here we go, faint attack. Will it take all its HP? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, all the way down. Oh crap! And uh, you know what? I'm gonna heal my Pokemon right here. Let's go with a full restore. Level 77. It, it's it's a good Pokemon to go uh, go up against right here. Come on. Bring it on, Espeon. And here he comes out again with another psychic attack. And, ooh, it's going to take a lot. Stay, come on. Stay, Teddy. All right, let's go with that faint attack. And here he comes again with another psychic attack. This is freaking ridiculous right here. This guy will not let me hit anything. And uh, that right there puts me in the red. <laughs> Look at that pun. Red puts him in the red. And... That will take a lot for that for that Pokemon. So let's go with a return and here we go one more time with a, a psychic attack. Whoo! And there goes Teddy with a critical hit. So either way, we're gonna faint. So let's go with my own Espeon. Let's go, Relic. Let's do this. And I got a special move for you, Shadow Ball. For the win. Eat it, Espeon. Eat it. That Espeon, not my Espeon. That's right. Cinder. Now, here we are taking on this much more stronger Pokemon. Snorlax is going to be a hassle for you guys because it's very, very bulky. Very, very strong. You guys got to hit it with a, with everything you got. And if you guys are one of those people that, you know, actually traded a, a Machoke for a Machamp or get it to evolve into a Machamp, it could be useful right here against a Snorlax. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to just beat the crap out of this guy. Just go, go nuts on this guy right here. And as you can see, its HP is not going down, and it's using Amnesia right here just to just to heighten its uh, its uh, its defense. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna blind them. Just gonna make sure that this guy doesn't hit me or anything. But unfortunately, there we go with one hit. That body slam is uh, ooh, and wow, we get paralyzed yet again. So we save all the paralysis, every single paralysis that was waiting for me in this one episode right here and that's one more body slam that we ooh, one body slam too many right there and uh... oh crud so that's two good pokemon out i think we're gonna have to yeah we're gonna have to go with ooh, we're gonna have to go with cinder right here we got no choice but to go with cinder and uh... well let's go with the fury cutter let's see if we can just like keep on hitting it with straight fury cutters and that misses right there, thanks to the flash. So every single turn we hit it with the Fury Cutter, it just keeps on losing it. And then 
Oh god, there's a body slam right there. And luckily for us, we did not get paralyzed. And it's getting even stronger right now. And there goes another body slam, but it misses. And here we go again with another Fury Cutter. And right now, it's just taking a whole lot of damage right there. So one more Fury Cutter right here would actually get us a win right now. And, uh, oh god, that Body Slam is just taking it's just taking its toll on my Pokemon right here. So there we go with a Fury Cutter. And it goes down just like that. How do you like me now? Not that much, right? Cinder. And he's going to come out with his Blastoise. So... What we're going to do is we're going to go with Nessie, and I'm going to try and get that Max Revive. Luckily for us, you know, Nessie can survive this kind of kind of attacks right here. I can only imagine what would have happened if we would have had Lucky on our team right here. So let's go with that Max Revive right here. Where is it? We have seven of those. Wow. Okay, so Kid Thunder, you are revived. Because I need you, buddy. I really do need you. Look at that. That's a lot of HP right there. And this guy is going with the Whirlpool attack, which is not going to do a lot. It won't. It's just, you know, it's just going to get us trapped in a, in a Whirlpool right now. It's going to take damage every single turn. What I'm looking forward to is this guy using Rain Dance so it can power me up just a tad. And, uh, you know what? Let's go with a Dragon Breath right here. See if we can paralyze him. And that doesn't paralyze him, but it does, you know... Give him another turn right here. This guy will not go down. If you guys, if you guys haven't realized it, he, ha he has very tanky Pokemon right now. Snorlax, Blastoise, and Venusaur, they're all tanky right here. And it's going to take a lot just to take them down. So let's go with a Body Slam right here. Hopefully it paralyzes them. And it does not paralyze them. Wow. So yeah, we're having a very epic battle right here. This is kind of starting to remind me of my, like... My old Pokemon Emerald uh, walkthrough, which by the way, that's the next walkthrough. <laughs> you guys already knew, and this guy is just coming after me. So let's go again with another Body Slam. Hopefully it paralyzes him. Come on. Paralysis. That's what we need, buddy. Paralysis. God dang it. And this guy is just straight up going with water attacks. Doesn't care if Nessie's a water type Pokemon too. And... Uh, Yes, release from the Whirlpool. Let's go with another Body Slam. Hopefully this takes him out or par paralyzes him. And... Ooh, nearly... Ooh, okay, well. Nearly makes him faint. Fully paralyzed. And here we go with the final hit. Dragon Breath. Eat it, Blastoise. Eat it. That's right. Nessie prevails just like that. And who's his next Pokemon right here? Oh, Venusaur. So let's go straight to our good old po uh, buddy, Cinder. Right here with Cinder. Now, one of the things that I, I discovered, well, this one of the techniques that I discovered battling red was the whole sunny day solar beam uh, combination. When I battled this guy for the first time, he destroyed me with sunny day and solar beam uh, attack. It was ridiculous. I hated red for that, and, you know... It, it actually taught me uh, quite a few things about combinations and all that stuff. But right here, we're going to try and prevent him from doing that stuff. And as you can see, go all the way down. He does not survive. Hell yeah. Okay. So we got one more Pokemon left. Who is it going to be? Is this... Oh yeah, our good old buddy Godzilla. Godzilla, Godzilla. I'm going to send out Kid Thunder right here. As you can see, Godzilla ready for battle. Kid Thunder ready for battle right here. I hate doing this, but it's got to be done. Thunder attack. There we go. Finish him off. Come on. All the way. Go all the way. Finish him. Finish him. And that is it, guys. Say goodbye to Red. Who's the real champ right here? That's right. Eat it. So there it is, guys. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Red or ourselves. And he doesn't say nothing at all. Nothing, and we get 77,000 zenny for that. Look at that, that's a lot of, that's a lot of Poke Dollars. That's a lot of Twinkies right there. Oh my god. And after defeating Red, he says, he still says nothing. He's not really a sore loser or anything. He just loses in, in, in grace, and he ends up disappearing. So that is it, guys. That is it. 
So, I would like to thank every single one of you guys for following this walkthrough right here. I mean, it's walkthrough number two down, Johto's down. We don't have to worry about going back to Johto anytime soon. So, you guys already know, the next walkthrough is going to be Pokemon Emerald. And believe it or not, tomorrow I will, uh, I will upload the very first episode of Pokemon uh, Emerald. Right there, I will give you guys the choice... Uh, of picking my starter Pokemon, which is a big one right here. I haven't done that in quite some time. So, keep an eye out for that right there, guys. Other thing, too, is that I am thinking of putting up uh, a few other walkers right here. You know, like Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Snap. I want to bring back my Pokemon Yellow team. So, keep an eye out for Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Snap, you guys will be seeing those on Tuesdays and Thursdays within the next week or so. And, uh... Well, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, those are the those are the, the small plans right there. So, stay tuned, guys. Tomorrow, very first episode of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. You guys will have that choice of choosing my starter Pokemon. And then within the week, you guys will see what my choice will be. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting this walkthrough. I will see you guys in Pokemon Emerald. See you guys.